Hello folks, my name is Steve Jankowski and I wanted to give you all a real quick class on Twitter. Just a week ago there was an entire article in the Wall Street Journal about the power of Twitter and the reach of Twitter and how major celebrities like Ashton Kusher and, and Oprah Winfrey are using Twitter and how even businesses are using Twitter. One of the examples they gave was businesses sending out tweets for people when their table is ready at the restaurant because people are walking around with blackberries and intelligent cell phones and they're tweeting from their cell phones now. Twitter has become an incredible social medium for just communicating with people and also for marketing. I am generating anywhere from 5 to 30 or 50 leads per day. Some I've had some really really good days and some not so good days, but I'm generating these this traffic and these leads off of Twitter and it costs me nothing. It's an incredible incredible place to be and it's a lot of fun just being on Twitter. And I wanted to give you a class on how to do that. Um, the first thing that you need to do is go to twitter.com and just open up an account. And you're going to have to you know, put in your name and your email and I don't need to show you how to do that. If you can't figure out how to do that, you probably aren't a future internet marketer. But go to twitter.com and go ahead and open up an account. Now one of the things, once you get your account open, you're going to be able to go into a profile section and put in a little bit more information. And one of the things that you need to put in is your avatar. Now an avatar is in most cases an image of you and I would really highly highly recommend getting a nice photo of yourself probably just a headshot we really can't see your whole family or your hot car or your hot boat in a little tiny avatar get a photo of yourself or if you have a logo or some other really cool image you want to put in there I would go ahead and upload that into that section on your in your Twitter account and the reason why you want to do that is if you don't do it Twitter is going to give you kind of a silly little avatar and when other people are on Twitter and they see your avatar and they recognize it as just being a silly Twitter avatar they're not going to consider you to be a real interesting person and they probably won't follow you and and you won't get the kind of growth that you want to get on Twitter um, the next thing you need to do is also in your profile is enter in a website. Okay? Now if you're just starting out on Twitter, I would not, and you want to market on Twitter, I would not put a landing page in there. You want to put something in there that's kind of neat, that tells people a little bit more about yourself. You can put in a blog. Um, I, you don't want to put in a Facebook page. I really wouldn't do that because when people go there, they have to like log into their Facebook account. A blog is a really nice thing or just some page that tells people a little bit more about you and what you're about and what you do. So you want to enter that in and then you're going to have to put a biography in and I wouldn't recommend putting in your biography that you're an internet marketing specialist or that you're a social media guru or anything like that because there are literally tens of thousands of people that put that kind of stuff out there. So you want to just put in something that tells people a little bit about you, what you do for a living, you know, your family, your familial status, how many kids you have, what some of your hobbies are. Go and look at some other people's profiles and kind of emulate them, especially if they look like they're successful. Then you want to start following people. And following people and having people follow you is what Twitter's all about. What you'll do is you'll go and you'll find somebody. You can actually just look for me. Go to Steve Jankowski. Look up my name and you can follow me. And once you see my profile page, you can go and click on my followers and whom I, who I'm following. And you can elect to follow those people. And those people, in turn, will follow you back. And then you also need to do some tweets. Now, I would not start out right away tweeting about your landing page. Okay, if, if you've just followed me and you start tweeting about your landing page, what are the chances are that I'm going to like go to your landing page? And if I do, what are the chances are that I'm going to buy? I don't know, probably not that high. 
you want to build up a fairly decent amount of followers before you start actually using Twitter as a marketing platform. And I would say you probably need, well, I don't know, I would think over a thousand before you get any sort of statistical value from putting ads out on Twitter. Another thing that I would highly recommend against using when you first start out on Twitter are any tools. And there are tons of Twitter tools out there that will tell you, you know, how, but buy my product and you can get 16,000 followers in 90 days. I would try to stay away from those. Most of the people that are selling those products have less than th a thousand followers themselves. So you just look really, really needy when you start pumping that stuff out right at the beginning. Twitter is a fun place to be. I have learned so much being on Twitter. People will tweet blog posts and I'll go and I'll read their blog and I'll, I'll realize, hey, this is an interesting person. I want to actually subscribe to this blog. Or it may be so interesting, I might actually want to bookmark it. And so I've done that. I've got a whole file of bookmarks of people I found on Twitter and I go and, and check on their blog on a regular daily basis for, for some of them. So learn while you're on Twitter, tweet about your sweat self, Tweet interesting facts. You can talk about what's happening in the news of the day or, or, or most anything. And basically enjoy yourself and build yourself a good following base before you start attempting to do any marketing at all. And in a following video, I'll talk a little bit more about some more advanced tactics on how to use Twitter. If you want to learn any more about branding yourself, self-branding online, branding on Twitter, you can go ahead and find a link on the page that you're on and you'll learn more about me. At any rate, hope to see you on the next video. Take care.